Hi everyone, Karen here from Holistic Essentials Therapy and Consulting, bringing to you this week's energy forecast and spiritual insights for Monday the 10th of January through until Sunday the 16th of January 2022. As we move into this week ahead, we have Venus, who is in retrograde, aligning with the sun and this is known as the venus star point now as venus represents the heart the heart chakra and heart energy and heart intelligence as she travels through retrograde we are really being encouraged to dive deeply into our own heart space and energy so this you know, for the heart chakra, for the heart space, for the heart energy, I really feel that the powerful questions to be asking yourself this week are, am, am, are my choices in alignment with my heart's integrity, my heart's wisdom, my heart's intelligence? Am I taking action, behaving, speaking, doing in a way that is coming from the higher heart space of unconditional love of compassion of kindness this is also a powerful time for reflection or for unresolved relationship wounds potentially to come to the surface now that may be a relationship from the past resurfaces perhaps memories from a past re relationship are coming to the surface and so this is an invitation during this time to ask yourself again, well, what, what is there for me to have learned from this relationship, this past relationship or this current relationship? Perhaps there is an opportunity for deeper healing to be occurring at this time. This is also, you know, can be represented in your own insecurities, perhaps issues with money, your relationship with money, the relationship you have with your physical self, your appearance, and also with your relationship health, your health to, for yourself, your relationship health to others. And how is your health and well-being at this time? because Venus is here to really highlight to you what healing work there may still be to, to for you to undertake, for you to investigate, for you to be curious about. Okay, well, what is, what is there for me to learn in this moment? How can I release and let this go? How can I forgive myself and others? On the 14th of January, we have Mercury going retrograde. So it's the first retrograde. Mercury is going retrograde for the first time in 2022. Now, traditionally, Mercury goes retrograde only three times in a year. In 2022, Mercury is actually going to enter into retrograde four times. Now, this is really highlighting to all of us that the universe is cosmically sending us a message that it is so powerful and so needed that we actually slow down, that we take the time. The need is clearly there for us still after these last few years, there's still a, a need and a message from the universe that we need to slow down, that we need to reflect and that we need to take care of our mental health, especially especially now more than ever as mercury is the ruler of the mind and so whenever it enters into retrograde it gives us the opportunity to really become consciously aware of our thoughts and our mental health and where we're choosing to focus our attention and our energy on and by that i mean the the analogy that's just coming to me is which which of the inter the wolf story which wolf are you feeding the wolf of fear or the the wolf of love and this is really really going to come to the surface in um the word it's reflective so mercury retrograde is really going to reflect to you which areas of your mental health where you're focusing your attention, your internal mental mind speak 
it's really going to reveal to you where that's at it's also mercury also re rules over contracts so this could be a soul contract this could be a subconscious contract it could be a physical contract it could be a promise or a commitment that you've made and this is the thing about contracts they're never binding we believe them to be binding but they're never binding so the invitation here is to really be mindful about where you're feeling obligated in your life and is that obligation that sense of obligation is it causing resentment for you is it bringing up resentment and if so then perhaps it's time for you to actually renew that contract or completely cut the ties to that perceived contract you know because nobody is forcing us to do anything but on a subconscious level we are feeling or on a soul level we're feeling that we've actually made a commitment that we're unable to break but contracts are made to be broken you have the right to change your mind you have the right to negotiate you have the right to set new boundaries or new perimeters you get to rewrite it in a way that serves your best and highest good and this is a powerful time to be doing that mercury is also the we all know that mercury is the planet of communication so during this time you may actually mercury is asking you to go inward and ask the question is my the way that i'm showing up in the world is the way that i'm expressing is the way that i'm communicating right now is my message getting across am i being heard is the, is there conflict in in how i'm attempting to communicate but most importantly it's really about the com the conversations that you're having with the universe what what is your internal dialogue with the universe because the universe will deliver to you what you're asking for and what your expectations are so there's this is a powerful time to make adjustments that serve you right that support you in communicating effectively from a heart-centered space from true authenticity from you know setting healthy boundaries asking for what it is that you want being able to renegotiate or change your style in order to move with the flow in a way that is more empowering for you mercury is also a very spiritual time and a lot of people don't realize this you know mercury retrograde does get a, a bad rap but it's actually a really powerful time for you to connect with the subconscious and your intuition on a greater uh, with greater ease and in a more powerful way and now is also a powerful time as mercury retrograde is moving into retrograde through and in the sign of aquarius so again this is an invitation to reassess and reshape the way that you are choosing to think your thoughts you know what thoughts are running your life what is the story that is running your life and is it serving you or is it holding you back is it keeping you small is it causing you pain and suffering and with both venus and mercury so close to the sun creating this incredibly amplified powerful retrograde energy you may actually feel really tired you may feel unmotivated you may feel a bit sluggish and so just because we're at the beginning of the year, it doesn't mean that you have to hit the ground running. It doesn't mean that you have to be full steam ahead. It's okay. And more important that you listen to the needs of your body, that you focus on self-care and self-love and, and what it is that you are needing energetically. That is more important, you know, after this retrograde, you know as we move into february well then then you can go okay what are my goals what are my actions what am i actually going to do but if you're feeling like you need to rest and that you still need more rest even if you have rested that's okay because this is what this retrograde is asking us to do is to find the stillness to be present 
to slow down and really assess, really reflect and assess on what is and isn't working for you at this time. And it's a powerful time at the beginning of this year to do that. And you know, again, we have the influence of the numerology of the number six for this year. And that is about being accountable and taking responsibility. If something's not working for you, it is your responsibility to acknowledge that and do whatever you can to create the positive change that serves you. You know, whether that is an internal dialogue, whether that is your mental mind, whether that is your emotional, mental well-being, your physical well-being, you know, it's time for you to actually take care of you in a way that, and when you take care of your needs, when you take care of you and you create that beautiful flow on effect of, of positive change within yourself, then you are having a positive impact on your family, your environment, the planet. That to me is free and awesome. Why wouldn't we all do that? All right. So if you'd like to place your hand on your heart, closing your eyes, can we teach you that you know what it feels like to live without miscommunication? That you know what it feels like to live without fear of expressing yourself? That you know what it feels like to live without fear of speaking your truth? That you know what it feels like to live without fear of asking for help? And can we teach you that you have the Creator's highest definition, perspective and understanding of what it means to speak your truth, to be able to express yourself in a loving and compassionate way and you know how and when to do this you know it's possible for you to do this can we teach you that you know what it feels like to be of value that you know what it feels like to have purpose and that you know how and when to listen to the needs of your body you know how and when to set healthy boundaries and you know how and when to reassess the promises and the commitments and the oaths and vows that you've made and that you know how and when to make the changes that best serve you. Can we teach you that you know what it feels like to be grounded, that you know what it feels like to be in the stillness, to be in the present and that you know what it feels like to take action, inspired action, when the time is right for you. Say yes to receive. Take a deep breath in. All right. So the supportive message for the week ahead is, what have we got? Thank you, my beautiful guides and angels. Thank you, universe. Thank you, divine mother, father, God, for guiding us in all that we are and in all that we do. Thank you for surrounding us in your beautiful, unconditional love, holding our hands and walking by our side as we move forward into this year ahead, this week ahead. Beautiful intuition. How gorgeous is this? How beautiful are these cards? So this is Aqua Marine. Aqua Marine is the crystal that this card is a link to. And Aqua Marine is again connected to the water element. And so water is all about our emotions. Water is a natural conduit for our intuition. That's why when we're in the shower, in the bath, or you know, in the other place <laughs> sitting, we receive inspired ideas, we receive intuitive information. We have beautiful imaginations of inspiration that pop into our minds. We, we resolve problems when we're in water, when we're in the shower. And so this, especially with this incredible energy that is around this week, this is a powerful time for you to connect to your intuition and you can tune into, you can invoke the energy of the crystal energy aquam, aquamarine into your meditation what they've just shown me is you can actually you can actually visualize channeling having an aqua marine crystal at your third eye chakra so you are going to be receiving powerful information and messages 
through your intuition in this week ahead. Now, for many of you, that may be you see signs, you see visually, perhaps it'll be ordered truth. So you may actually hear words, hear messages, it'll come through in songs on the radio. You could be very clear, um, clairsentient. So this is feeling kinesthetically in your body. Perhaps it's a feeling and a sensation that you have when you're connecting to your intuition. So this is a powerful week for you to be nurturing your connection to your higher self through meditation, by being in and around water, by journaling and connecting in with the energy of aquamarine. You know, we it, being intuitive is our natural state. It's it's not it's not something that's reserved for the special people. It's actually our natural state. It, it's how we are supposed to be. It's how we were born and created to be. We are highly, highly sensitive, intuitive beings. And so this is the universe saying to you that now is the time to either deepen your practice, your meditation practice, or your connection to the universe, to the angels, to your guides, to source. Or it's time for you to actually step into that initial, you know, find a mentor, a teacher. I, I can guide you. I do spiritual mentoring. I can actually support you in tapping into your intuition and connecting with your guides. So this is a powerful week for you to be doing that in whatever way you feel drawn to do so. So I hope that these messages serve you well. Please share this, share it on your social media, share it to your friends and family. It's a beautiful message that's being downloaded for you for the highest good of yourself and those that you share this with. As always, please be kind and gentle with yourself. Namaste, blessed be. I look forward to seeing you next week.